the All I Want for Christmas tag and a Christmas box. What's up, everybody? I'm Tylock, and this is Homespun Geek. <laughs> Hello guys, I am Tylock. Welcome, Merry Christmas. I know it's still a little ways away, probably less than a week by the time I post this video, but Merry Christmas nonetheless. I'm gonna open this little box right here, guys. I was finally able to find the Home Alone Collectors uh, box right here. I was very excited that I found this at my Target. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what's in here for anybody that may not already know, uh, but we're gonna open this real quick, uh, mostly because I want something that's in here. For the rest of the video all right guys so basically this is a target exclusive home alone box uh you may be able to see right here that is little kevin on the bet from the box kind of a cartoon version of kevin uh on the side is more stuff from home alone there's a spider there's the heated doorknob uh what else is over there oh there's the blowtorch on this side of course is the iron uh and uh paint cans you know those paint cans came down smacked uh one of those guys in the head and then on the back of course guys is the spoiler about what's in here which I'm sure I just showed you but that's fine on the top guys what I do like about it is the plane here on the top that says Kevin you know when she screamed Kevin in that first movie it's a classic uh, scene also it says to the wet bandits from Kevin McAllister uh, very cool this is a Home Alone exclusive Funko item guys uh, this is what I wanted out of this box, guys. Well, I want this right here. Inside here, guys, is this Kevin McAllister uh, Target exclusive pop. Here's the side, guys. This is a classic outfit that he wore in uh, Home Alone. Let's see, he has in his hands. Okay, in his hands, guys, actually is a toothbrush. Uh, there's a toothbrush in his left hand. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've seen anybody talk about that, but there is a toothbrush in his left hand. His gloves, of course, are hanging off. Uh, but that's it, guys. There's only been three other Home Alone pops that they've come out with. Uh, I think it Marv, Lou, and then of course the original Kevin, which is him in his little uh, red sweater and green pants. Okay, so that is the pop that came in this box, guys. But the re real reason I open this box right now is because I wanted this right here. This is the, I call them knit cap. Some people call them beanies. I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, this is the very knit cap that you can see Kevin actually has on in this picture right here. Uh, I wanted this knit cap so that I have something a little Christmassy to wear here. Uh, I took the tag off. Hopefully this is gonna fit my giant head. There is a little tag on the back. Every side, guys, is, of course, the reindeer with the little red and gray poof on the top here. Uh, let's take this off. Let's put this on. There you go, guys. What do you think about that? All right. There, right, pretty good, I like it. Okay, uh, so I wanted to get this knit cap out of there and of course the pop, obviously I want the pop, but I really wanted to get this knit cap, knit cap for the rest of this video because uh, I have nothing Christmassy to wear. I uh, literally own like two Christmas shirts. So I thought, well, what can I put on that's Christmassy? There you go, that's what I put on. Uh, all right guys, so basically though the rest of this video is I was tagged in the all I want for Christmas uh, Challenge by Funko Pops and Unicorns whose video I'm gonna link in the description below You guys can go over and check out everything that she listed in that video uh, it, I think it's just five items. So I'm just gonna list five items that I want for Christmas This was a little bit of a challenge for me because I actually don't ever ask for anything really for Christmas uh, Sheree and I have traditional items that we get each other um, every year, but I'm not going to throw any of those items in because that's, that's what she gets me every year anyway. I'm going to throw in other things 
that I probably didn't mention or haven't said. Um, not that I want anybody to go out and get these things for me because I really don't care. Uh, but I thought, I racked my brain, I thought of a lot of stuff. I tried to only put two pops on the list because I know I talk about pops a lot, you know, a lot. Uh, this is the Great 8 Vegeta, guys. This is the pop I'll be giving away when I hit 500 subscribers. To find out more information about this, guys, if you go back, you can look at my last four Support Saturday videos prior to today's video, uh, and you find out all the information you need about this giveaway. Uh, so, but anyway, guys, uh, I really thought about a lot about what I want for Christmas. If I want anything for Christmas, uh, once you get older, it seems like it's a little bit more difficult to think of things that you want for Christmas because I buy myself what I want like all year. If you can't tell, uh, look behind me. You know, I, I buy whatever I want. I literally just bought myself a Switch right after Thanksgiving with Super Mario Odyssey. Um, if there's something I want, I usually buy it. So it's hard to think of other thing, th things to tell other people to buy me. Uh, for Christmas because I I just don't really care about that much. I buy a lot of pops. That's what I, that's my thing. I collect pops. We collect uh, Jim Shore Disney traditions. I get at least one of those every year for my for Christmas and sometimes for my birthday. Uh, if you don't know what those are, I may do a video coming up soon to go over like our collection of the traditions. Uh, at least my collection. I'll, I might let her decide if she wants to do her own. Uh, but I did make a list of five things and like I said I tried to keep it to only two pops because I don't want to make it a, just a list of pops that I want. I wanted to uh, just kind of keep pops kind of minimalized uh, on this list. So anyway guys in the spirit of Christmas uh, this is my Christmas list. I was challenged. This is what I'm going to say. The five things that I want. Uh, these are not things that I specifically asked anyone for, uh, and it's only a little over a week before Christmas, so I have not asked anybody for these things because I really don't ask for anything. Um, it's just it's just who I am. Uh, so uh, the first thing that's on my list, guys, uh, because I did just buy um, the Nintendo Switch. I only bought Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, but it is a week before Christmas, so you all know, or anybody who plays games knows, that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came out last week. Uh, I've watched gameplay of that game, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I've played every Smash Bros. from the beginning, when the first Smash Bros. came out on Super Nintendo. I've played every single one. I actually really only bought my Switch because I wanted to be able to play that game when it came out which is sad, uh, but true. I wanted to be able to play that game. I don't want to skip it, so I bought a Switch so that I could be able to play it. Uh, so that is the first thing on my list is uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. Not a collector's edition or any fancy. I just want the basic game uh, so that I can play it and I can play it with Daniel uh, and whoop him uh, pretty much every time. Uh, so that's the first thing on my list. The second thing on my list is, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm sitting in a wooden piece of junk, old dining table chair, basically. Uh, I'm tired of sitting in this chair for these videos. Uh, it's not super comfortable. They're basically just hard wooden chairs. There's not, I don't even have a cushion on this chair. Like, you know, you can buy cushions for dining ch chairs. No, I don't have anything like that. Uh, I don't know specifics on this, but I'd really like like a racing back chair, like a gaming chair, uh, for this uh, for this spot right here behind this desk. Um, that's what I really like. I'm gonna try to find one before I post this video, and I'll put a picture of something similar to what I would like right here. So that's what I'd like, guys. Uh, just a little racing chair, uh, something that I can uh, put behind the table for when I make videos and so I'm a little bit more comfortable and I'm a little more uh, hip and I'm not sitting in grandma's uh, dining chair anymore. Um, so let's see, so that's two things guys. The next thing that I want on my list, here we go with the pops. I only put two pops, okay? So I don't wanna push it. I'd like to have every pop 
on my wish list on Stashpedia, Homespun Geek. Uh, if you guys ever want to go look at my Stashpedia, that's where it is. I'd like every pop on that list, but I'm going to stick with the two that I want the most. Okay? The first one will not surprise you that much because I've actually talked about it in previous videos. It came out in July during San Diego Comic Con. I wanted it badly. It was a Toy Tokyo exclusive and I missed it. Totally bombed, totally failed, uh, and it is the Masters of the Universe Ram Man. Uh, again, I'll put a picture right here. Uh, this is the pop that I wanted so bad from San Diego Comic Con, Masters of the Universe Ram Man. I missed it. It's gone up in value quite a bit. I believe it's right at about sixty to seventy dollars right now. Uh, but I would really like to have this guy to add to my collection. I have not asked anybody to get me this. I am still not asking anybody to get me this. Uh, I just think it's something that would be great. Uh, I have a lot of the Masters of the Universe collection. Uh, I don't have some of the Grails, and I would like to have the Grail uh, items. Um, with that same thing, guys, that was number three. Number four, same exact theme, guys. I would like from the Masters of the Universe set, this is from Series 1 of Masters of the Universe, I didn't buy it because at the time I wasn't heavily into Pops. I did buy He-Man and Skeletor uh, from Series 1 because obviously I wanted the He-Man and Skeletor. Uh, but the other three that came out with He-Man and Skeletor were Hordak, Spikor, and this one I would like to have She-Ra. But I mean honestly, who wouldn't like to have She-Ra? I believe she's valued at over $300 on Stashpedia. Uh, I'm sure even, even people who don't watch Masters of the Universe, aren't fans of Masters of the Universe, wouldn't mind having that pop just for trade value. Um, I didn't buy it, like I said, because at the time when a new series came out of something that I liked, for example, Goonies or Muppets or Masters of the Universe, I usually only bought one from the series, just so I had something to represent that series on my shelf. Because I did not realize at the time, of course this was years ago, that pops were gonna blow up you know I didn't realize that the value on those pops was ever gonna blow up I was just buying them as a novelty toy to put on my shelf uh, to display I mean that's really all it was guys I was I was a, and I still still that's really why I buy pops I'm not buying them to I have not ever sold one pop never sold one single pop or even traded I've never traded anything uh, I have bought pops and just given them away but I have never sold or charged anybody for a pop from my collection or that I bought as a giveaway, obviously, because they're giveaways. Um, so that is the fourth item. So, so far we have, guys, right? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. A new chair for me, because my butt hurts. Ram Man and She-Ra. Now to get a little cheese. <clears throat> the last thing that I want for Christmas, and I could say, oh, I want peace on earth, you know, but that's not what I'm gonna say, because that's a little too cheese. But the last thing that I want more than anything, guys, is, and this is all I ever really want at Christmas time, is I would like my wife, Cherie, and my son, Daniel, to be happy. Um, Whatever they get, whatever they do, whatever happens on Christmas Day, I would just like them to be happy, to get what they want and enjoy the day. That's really what matters, especially Daniel. Uh, Daniel's still a kid. He needs to enjoy Christmas. Um, you know, the magic kind of dies as you get older, but for him, the magic is still very much there. Um, and it really means a lot to me to see them happy with everything that they get, everything that they do, even just the uh, just the warmth of Christmas of being with the, with them uh, around the tree on Christmas morning, um, it just that means a lot to me. Uh, I didn't meet Cherie until I was 30. Uh, before that, I was actually single. Um, I had girlfriends, of course, and sometimes it was for years at a time. But there was a lot of times that I was single and I lived in a one bedroom apartment and I was actually pretty uh, miserable. Um, that's no joke, no joke, pretty miserable, very lonely, um, I lived a pretty unpleasant life before I met Cherie, since she's come into my life, things have completely flipped upside down, and I, uh, I actually really enjoy my family life, um, so, that's all I really want, guys, um, 
I just want to see them happy. I just want to have, you know, good times with them. Uh, that is what's most important. That is what matters the most to me. The happiness of my wife and my child. That's my number one wish for Christmas, guys. Uh, so sorry if that's a little too deep. Sorry if that's a little too uh, cheesy. But it is actually 100% the truth. Um, I quit caring a long time ago about what I get for Christmas because I actually love buying things for them. I love to see their expressions when they open things. I love that. And what parent doesn't? What spouse and parent doesn't? I know you all do. If you're married, you have kids, I know everybody loves to buy and see the expression of gratitude on the faces of your spouse and your children. And uh, it just means a lot. It uh, helps you keep going. I mean, it, it helps you keep going, you know? So. Uh, <clears throat> but that's really it guys sorry about that I have something in my throat uh, that's really it guys that's what I want for Christmas that's the five things I want from Christmas uh, She-Ra, Ram Man, Super Smash Brothers a new chair and happiness Yeah, I just want my family to be happy and uh, appreciate Christmas uh, like I used to when I was a kid because I loved Christmas my parents always made sure my Christmas was uh, very special very magical and I thank them for that uh, beyond belief they were awesome to me growing up I didn't have a horrible childhood um, I had a really great childhood I enjoyed being a kid uh, and I hope that I'm doing whatever is necessary so that he enjoys being a kid as well uh, because his dad is a big nerd who buys lots of nerdy things you know so so uh, and believe me his room has almost as many pops as you guys see behind me because once I started I just kept going so uh, but that's it guys I hope everybody out there has a fantastic Christmas I hope you all get everything that you want I hope happiness is full in your home I hope everybody uh, has a great time uh, I hope you have the loved ones and the family members that you uh, would like to have by your side. Uh, that's what's most important, I think. And uh, so that's really it, guys. Uh, with all of that, thank you to Funko Pops and Unicorn for tagging me in this so I can make this video and let you guys know uh, how I feel. Um, she also tagged Nerd Crew, guys, and uh, I believe she tagged Admiral Funko. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to their videos as well, guys. You guys can go check them out. Uh, I'm sure they had some great things. I know that they had some great things because I watched I watched both of them. Uh, but you guys will probably enjoy it as well. So go and follow those links, guys. Funko Pops and Unicorns, Nerd Crew, Admiral Funko. Uh, watch those videos. Enjoy those videos. And with that, guys, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek. And I hope you all have a happy holiday. <laughs>